Hey guys, Little Gecko Productions here. In today's video, we're going to talk about when to film and when not to film. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm thinking today's video is going to be kind of short just because honestly, I'm really tired. I have not gotten a good night's rest in like four weeks because of all of the trips that I've been going on. Uh, I did that film challenge. I did, uh, I went to Washington, D.C. for a school trip and uh, I also just went to like a, a summer camp for like a weekend for another school trip. And so I've just been um, sleep deprived. But yeah, so uh, hopefully this video is still uh, all right. <laughs> now basically what I wanna talk about is those times when you're filming or you're going to film and you just really don't feel like doing it. And there's different times like when you don't feel like doing it and then there's times when you feel like you shouldn't. And when I heard at the beginning of the school year that I was going to go to Washington, D.C., I was really excited because, first of all, I'd never been there before. And second of all, I was just like, that would be super cool to make a video about. But then when I got there, I just didn't want to anymore. I don't really know exactly what it was. Maybe it's I didn't want to uh, miss conversations and things uh, with my friends. Maybe it's I just wanted to really pay attention to what, I, to what I was seeing and soak it in, or maybe I felt it was too reverent of a place, if that's the right word, to, to be filming, um, and maybe a combination of all of it. Um, definitely that was the case for the, the uh, Arlington Cemetery, where a lot of soldiers are buried. I felt that it was just not disrespectful to film, but I just, I just didn't feel comfortable filming and and, and doing that. I just kind of wanted to enjoy it and, and take it all in. I think it was a combination of all of that. Overall, I just wanted to, to experience it instead of experiencing it through my viewfinder. And that's something that um, I guess filmmakers kind of have to sacrifice is if is you can't really, really enjoy what you're, the, the, the things around you when you're just looking at the screen, looking at it through the screen. I feel that way about smartphones. Um, you go to a concert and everyone is watching the concert through their screen. Like, why do you bother going to the concert when you're just gonna be holding up your phone and filming it? Like, why not just watch a video? Because that's basically what you're doing. You're not looking at the person singing, performing, whatever. You're looking at it them through your phone. So I think th it's, there's a degree of that to it. I didn't wanna miss what was happening. And so I think that's a different story than just, oh, I don't feel like filming today. Because if you don't feel, if you just, oh, I don't feel like filming today, well, I would say suck it up. Go film. Because you're never gonna get better unless you do it. Uh, you can watch 100 videos on how to ride a unicycle, but you'll never be able, to, you might know how. You might have all the information you need, but you'll never be good at it until you practice. And I feel that's the exact same way with filming. It's a lesson that I learned. When I first started, I would watch hours and hours of tutorials, a whole bunch of Devin Graham's tutorials and film right and everything. And I'm like, and I felt confident. I was like, oh, I know how to do all this stuff. But then if you were to watch my first ever short film that I don't think is on the internet at the moment, I hope it's not, I, I was not nearly as good as I thought I was. I was horrible, it was terrible. It's not if you don't feel like filming, then don't film, but it's, you have to be able to analyze and recognize the times when it's not necessarily appropriate to film. And maybe not that it was inappropriate to film, but it was appropriate to not, if that makes sense. Because I would have enjoyed uh, making a video about it, you know, that I think that would be really cool, but maybe if I were to ever go back, then I would definitely do that. But it's just something that I had never experienced before, and it's something that I am honestly like interest, interested in. Um, I, I thought it was a really uh, a cool experience, so it's something I didn't want to miss. I didn't want to watch it through the viewfinder. I wanted to experience it. And so I think, I think there's a balance that you have to find between like when, I think there's, I think it's a danger. I think it's, that's, that's, that's a danger to filmmakers. Something that's dangerous is that you have to figure out what, in life you want to actually see and what you want to watch through a screen. My name is Ethan Geck and I'll see you
next week. If you guys got that, click the comment down below. Comment below that you understood that reference. But, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.